Hey guys, we have a crazy, crazy PSA returns for you. Uh, we got two boxes back from PSA. I took them out of the package to make it a little easier. I do want to talk about this little binder first. I finally decided to start putting my signatures in a binder. And uh, you can see a few of them here. Um, Nick, great guy from Pennsylvania. Nico did a big deal at Worlds with him. Helped middle it for Rusty. SM Black, dude, you're awesome, man. Love you, dude. I got uh, Pokemon Radar here with John. Uh, Aquas did a great trade with him earlier this year. And Bonnie, who did my big Jolteon painting, very nice. But you see, I got all these extra pages. So finally, with the binder dedicated, um, I'm hopeful that we can uh, fill it up. So my goal next time at Worlds, we're at an event, is that uh, I get a lot of autos from as many people as I can and fill the binder up. My hope is that I can... Eventually go to like a three ring binder, or not a three ring binder, but like a, a nine pocket binder, one of those. So anyway, this returns is huge. Those of you guys that watched my Aquapolis video, um, okay, so these are the backs up here. Uh, from like 2018, this is the mint set I bought from a gym leader. Basically someone who worked on the Pokemon events. They got the pack fresh sets. They got all the boxes from the... Um, events like they they literally this is all pack fresh and um, I just sent this stuff off like three years later so this should be a stunning stunning returns we should have some massive grades here this is all very very huge um, it's a full Aquapolis hollow set so the uncommons and commons are a separate sub reverses are a separate sub um, I'm thinking this is hopefully a nine right here I can see it being an eight but hopefully a nine <laughs> hey there we go Oh my gosh, dude, that's so nice, so nice. PSA has been so tough lately, guys. Like, if you don't know, like, PSA, like, over the years, uh, basically, a ton of cards, I think, are getting 10s or getting 9s. A ton of cards, I think, are getting 9s or getting 8s. And uh, seeing this getting a 9 is refreshing because, like, wow. Like, um, it, it has been a very tough, tough recent uh, submissions for me. Um, next up, maybe we have a shot. Oh, another nine. But still, like, these cards are all just, they're, they're packed fresh. They're beautiful. Um, very, very su superb condition. The reverses I sent off for this set, like, half of them got PSA 10s. That's how clean they were. All right, so next up, hopefully we can get a 10. Oh, man, dude. I was, dude, I was hoping. I was looking for that 10. I was looking for that 10. So you see we're at 20, 19, 18. So we're counting back. Hopefully we'll have an Amphros there in the front. One of my favorite, favorite cards of all time, Amphros. Uh, this is not a 10. This is a, probably, a, hopefully a 9. Oh, yeah, it's a 9. It's a muck. Good old muck from Aquapolis. Let me make sure the lighting is good for you guys. That way you guys can see everything. Oh, my gosh, such a beautiful card. I mean, this is muck right here, man. It's down in the sewers, you know. Come on, baby. <laughs> we need a 10. We need at least one 10. Oh, we got a nine. We got a nine. But, like, I'm telling you, like, Aquapolis, like, Sky Ridge Expedition, very easy sets to grade. It's very easy to get tens if you got pack fresh cards. Ooh, nine on the lantern here, Aquapolis. But the thing is, like, it's just hard to find pack fresh cards. That's the hardest part. And so these are all very, very good looking cards. And I think we might have a ten here. This could be a shot. Oh, man. We might just get an all nine sub. I mean, these these are very good looking cards. There's no hollow fall scratches. The centering is pretty good on this card. Maybe a little off to the left hand side over here. Uh, you can see the back's a little off center, but I mean the back's very clean. The edges are sharp. I mean, there's not a lot of whitening, hardly any. Um, so hopefully we can get some tens. I mean, like I said, PSA has just been very tough lately. Ooh, first eight. Ooh, first eight on the jump off. Um, I mean, if we get an Arcanine 10, um, any of the big cards, I mean, that, that's going to be huge. Ooh, man. I mean, the difference in 9s and 10s on these, you're talking like a couple hundred bucks for a 9. Some 10s are thousands and thousands of dollars. So um, the difference in the, just those two grades alone is huge. Ooh, this is a beautiful card. Man, that's such a beautiful card. Look at that sparkle. Oh, man, it's a sparkle right there for sure. Um, some of these are just going to be BGS 9.5s. I mean, that's just what they are. Um, I mean, maybe they're CGC 9.5s. Who knows? Uh, that's, a, that's a stunning card right there. 
another nine. I mean, I'm hoping for some tens. I mean, usually my returns are like 30% tens is what you hope for, but a lot of these cards are just so valuable. Oh, man, the Espeon got a nine. Oh, man. Dude, this is one you want in a ten for sure. Um, the the hollow cards are just, you know, if they look good, you got to send them. I mean, the sevens are worth grading. The sixes and fives are worth grading. That's just, it is what it is. So, um, this is brutal. I mean, I mean, obviously nines are great, but I, I this, you know, I should have graded this two years ago. That's what I'm saying. Electrode. Got the nine. Really see that hollow foil pop. I mean, that's like Hound Doom level, just, just cosmos everywhere. Cosmos is all the little circles you see. Galaxy is with the stars and stuff. That was the older, um, original Wizard of the Coast hollow foil pattern. Blissey getting the nine. Blissey's always got this big old circle. <laughs> Looking like the moon. Oh man. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's finish strong. Give us an a give us an Amphros 10. One Amphros 10 would be golden. Ah, <sighs> oh, dude. It's just it's just nines. That's all it is. It's just nines. I mean, can we get anything else? I don't think so. I mean, we got an eight, but maybe we shouldn't hope for anything else. Maybe we should just hope for nines. Please be a nine. <laughs> hey, it's a nine. I'll take it. Let's go. Azumarill from Aquapolis, little blue guy. Nice. Everyone thought the Meryl was the Pika Blue. This was the evolution of that, Azumarill. Very nice. H4 from Aquapolis. All right, next up, what do we got? This may be Arcanine, maybe one more. Ooh, Ariados. Kind of reminds me of Crobat from Neo Rav. Just it's hard to see the hollow full pattern just with the background and stuff. All right, two big cards. Two big cards back to back. This is definitely not a 10. You can see this corner wear on the bottom down here. Definitely not going to be a 10. Hopefully it's a 9. Hey, we'll take it. Look at that card. Isn't this just an iconic artwork? I mean, you think about this in the gym challenge. You know, uh, Blaine's Arcanine. Just beautiful, beautiful. Uh, but, I mean, look, you got a little fountain back there. I mean, this is just it's just gorgeous. The way this pops, I mean, top tier Arcanine artwork. Top, top tier. This is what you look for in a collectible. Just something that is just gorgeous. All right, Amphros. Oh, this is not a 10. You can see a little nick up here. Um, please be a 9. <laughs> please be a 9. Hey, we got a 9. I'll take it. Uh, one of my all-time favorite cards. Love playing this guy in the game. Um, it's yellow. I've always favored the yellow and blue artworks. For whatever reason, um, H1, I mean, this is a card I'm building a binder page of. It's hard it's hard for me to find these for like 50 bucks, 75 bucks. That's what I'm paying for loose, like excellent copies. Uh, but this is it. I mean, you think about the Arcanine and the Amphros. I mean, those are just, that's like top tier Aquapolis right there. Beautiful cards. I think the Tentacruel also, it really kind of hits home with me too. Uh, I don't know how many Tentacruel fans are out there, but it's like a card that um, I've always really liked in this set. And it's coming up. All right, so probably got some papers in here and stuff. All right, so we got cases on this side. And if you're not familiar, I don't look at any of the grades beforehand, so I have no idea. Dude, if I can get this out. All right. So I have no idea what the grades are. Um, it's part of the fun, man. All right, so we'll set that there. All right, next up, next up, big card. Hopefully, uh, maybe Zapdos. Ooh, Inte. Ooh, baby. That's a nice looking Inte, isn't it? I mean, that's a good looking Inte. I mean, you think about this dude, all the fluff and the fur and stuff. You just want to like go give him a hug, man. It's like it's like your pet lion, dude. It's uh, Inte, a legendary dog, so more like a dog, but the size of this beast, you know, he's he's like lion size. Um, all right, next up, probably a nine. Oh, dude, it's an eight. <laughs> Oh man, I'm I'm just hoping for nines now. Can we just get nines? I mean, this this artwork I think just reminds me of a ton of like Neogenesis. It's Slow King just chilling, ton of hollow foil. Neogenesis, the card isn't centered, it's centered, it's on the right hand side, so you got a hollow foil to the left. Similar scenario here, it's just flipped. Um yeah, Slow King. The most chill Pokemon out there. Alright, next up here, let's go. Oh, he got the Zapdos. Man, that electric artwork. Um, can't really see the hollow foil, though. I thought the hollow foil popped more in this card, usually. 
uh, but I love just the lightning just coming out the white lightning. I've seen a few artists recently really just portray white lightning um, really well in their, their pictures and stuff online uh, on Instagram and stuff and I've always just been a fan of uh, of this card. Kind of, I mean, I think that's better than Rocket Zapdos. People love Rocket Zapdos uh, from, what is it, Neo, uh, from Jim Challenge. But, dude, that's, ooh, that's top tier. All right, next up, maybe our first 10. This could be our first 10. Oh, dude, what? What? <laughs> what? Oh, my gosh, dude. I thought this was, like, 10 shot for sure. This probably has some hall full scratches. That's what I'm guessing. Because, uh, man, that back is flawless. Like, 10 out of 10. I mean, filet mignon, that back is flawless. Uh, but, yeah, uh, this is surprising. I didn't expect that. All right, we got an Umbreon coming up. Umbreon, Umbreon, Umbreon. Is this going to be it? Oh, we got a 9. I'll take a 9. A <laughs> 9 is still, like, probably $500 plus. I haven't looked that up, but that's just my guess. Just, uh, wow. Wow. Um, Umbreon runs it like Egyptian, you know, it's like got the rings and stuff, just the gold. I mean, the night cat, it's, it's just gorgeous. I mean, it is oof, stunning, stunning artwork. Uh, this and the non hollow Umbreon from Neo discovery is beautiful. I like those. A lot of people like the hollow. Um, I, I like the non hollow, um, rare. It's a different artwork in Neo discovery. Uh, this card's shaking a little bit. Um, maybe it wants to give me a nine. Hey, we got the Tyranitar 9. The excitement is because it's a 9, not an 8, okay? That, that's where the excitement is. I'm just glad that it's not in a flawless Vileplume um, 8, okay? Uh, just out in the woods hanging. Love this Tyranitar. Can't say enough about it. Every time I see this thing of Hisoka, uh, my, my guy, he was a big Tyranitar fan, and uh, this just feels like just a beast walking out of the woods. I mean, how can you not like that artwork? All right, next up, uh, please be a nine. Hey, we got a nine to, to get it. That's what it's going to be. I'm not saying that the other way because that's what I'm going to call it. So however you just said it in your head, that's how it should be said. Um, cool card. Love the artwork. Ton of hollow foil. You always like these when you actually get to see the hollow foil more. I mean, with the Pokemon Center, you kind of lose that, especially with the area dose. You really had no hollow foil at all. Uh, but with this, it, it's it's nice. And so with this card, uh, to get a, the Neo Destiny version is incredibly hard to find in first edition and in limited. And limited is even more hard uh, or even harder to find. So um, every time I think of this, I'm like, someone's out there struggling with that set. <laughs> it's like what I think of. Um, all right, next up. Come on. Are we going to get a single 10? Are we going to get a single 10? No, we are not. <laughs> this is the ten of is talking about. I think this just really embodies Aquapolis. What do you think Aquapolis is? That blue set. It's got that silver um, sort of uh, outline to the booster box. You think of the deep blue sea, you know, down there. This just like reeks of just mystery and like what's going on. All the tentacles out there. A little scary, you know. Makes a little nervous. And uh, I think this card is just iconic for Aquapolis. And looking at this, it actually saw off center top to bottom. So it's really hard on E series cards to see centering. Um, yes, yeah, so this Vileplume, this flawless Vileplume, is well centered. It, you know, it's pretty nice. But if you compare it to the Tentacle on the left, you can see it's off center top to bottom. It's lower um, on the card than it should be. All right. But, dude, that's this is Aquapolis to me. This is like when you say Aquapolis, that, that's what I think of. I mean, I think Ampharos is a great artwork in Aquapolis, but I don't think of Ampharos when I hear Aquapolis. All right, next up, uh, hopefully a nine. <laughs> hey, sweet coon, baby. Got the nine. And you see it's centered, so you get less half well. But, I mean, you know, sweet coon, just the mysterious, you know, are you going to find it? How many hours are you going to run around looking for that dog out there? Um, what is it? Inte and then Raikou. I'm trying to think which artwork I like the best in Aquapolis. I think sweet coon might be it. Sweet coon might be the one that I favor. But the Inte is just, it's stunning as well. I really like the Inte. And then Raikou, I think Sky Ridge, but I don't think we're going to have, maybe, no, I don't think we have one in the Aquapolis. All right, next up. Ooh, Sudowoodo. Think about Z and G Emporium. I'm loving the Sudowoodo. Like, man, if you want a Pokemon that can be yours and, like, no one else is going to fight you for it, you're going to pick Sudowoodo. Like, that's his guy. And so, uh, <laughs> shout out to Z and G for just loving this guy for... Whatever reason, you don't. I don't want to know what the reasons are. Probably don't want to go there, um, but beautiful. And if you look close enough, you have a little second runner in the background, two pseudo-widows 
or pseudo I don't know how you want to say it, but um, there you go. Shout out ZNT. Very nice on the uh, nine there. All right, I'm hoping this is a nine because we got a big old nick up here. We got a little nick over here and a little uh, edge wear down here in the bottom right. So can it be a nine or is it going to be an eight? Ooh, it's a nine. Steelix. Again, another card I think of when I think of Aquapolis. I don't think of Steelix as like a water Pokemon, but when I look at a blue Steelix that looks like he's in a blue sea, I'm thinking, buddy, are you rusting? I don't know. Maybe he doesn't rust. And so I'm just thinking, like, this is just Aquapolis for sure. Uh, but just the blue, um, you know, kind of just moseying around, just fishing the sea. Obviously, this isn't a fish, but I think he's just at the bottom of an ocean somewhere. Um, but, yeah, nice looking Steelix there. And, okay, we got two cards left. What's this going to be? Oh, dude, two Slow Kings? Two Slow Kings? But, hey, at least we got a nine. I'll take it. Uh, pretty, look at that swirl, man. You can almost get mesmerized by that. If I start rotating the circle, maybe you'll watch the rest of my videos. Maybe not, but you can do what you want. All right, this is not a 10. doesn't look like a lost center left to right. Back centering isn't as important. We see a little edge wear at the top right up here. I mean, talking about corner. Um, coming on down, just a little nick right here. A uh, little nick down here. It's not a perfect card. I would be very, very happy with a 9 on this card. And it's a nine. It's a scissor. Kind of looks like comic book artwork in, in kind of a way, you know. Um, pretty nice. Reminds me of the Arcanine uh, artwork from earlier. Involves from Scyther up there. But pretty solid. Um, so overall, I'm very disappointed I didn't get any tens. I thought this set was just a very good looking set. Um, PSA is obviously taken off for these corner decks pretty bad. I think some of these they were more evident on. Um, I was really hoping to get anywhere between like five to like six or seven tens. Like that was really the goal. And then if you hit one of the big cards, obviously it's several thousand dollars. So like this sub right here could have been like twenty or thirty thousand. Now would it have been? No, because whenever whenever someone gives you a price, it's never the price they tell you. Like it's very hard to get PSA tens. This is just you know embodiment of that. Like literally the reverse hollow returns from this, which I probably posted on YouTube like three years ago maybe four years ago, um, like like literally 30%, 40% of the cards were tens, And so, like, the hollows obviously didn't do as well. Um, but it just goes to show, like, it's kind of hard to get tens. And when you see some of the prices for tens, you have new people in the hobby. They try to grade themselves. They don't get any tens, like none. I mean, you can see why someone's going to throw, like, five grand for a ten because, in their opinion, it's probably pretty hard to get a ten. Um, but yeah, I don't want to waste y'all's time anymore, but that's probably one of my favorites. I'll just kind of pull out my favorites right now. The Suicune, Tentacruel is pretty solid. Terranitar Umbreon, two other great cards right here. Um, Zapdos, yeah, I like Zapdos. Got the Entei, it's pretty beautiful. Oh, this is just the best card. I mean, there's no other card in the set. This is just the best card. So why don't we end it here? Really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks so much as always, and until next time.